caller says a 32-year-old girlfriend is not breathing. She's down on the ground and no known medical conditions. Probable cause documents focus on what happened at the Seattle home on September 29th. I'm not sure why right now the police are requested also. The 911 caller, John Curin, allegedly told police that his girlfriend had been drinking alcohol, repeatedly falling down, and at one point when he went to check on her, she had no pulse. The King County Medical Examiner's Office said the woman's fatal injuries were caused by blunt force trauma inconsistent with falling and more likely by a punch or stomp to her body, noting that she had nine fractures on her ribs and multiple bruises on her arms and legs. So this was referred to us by Seattle Police. The King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office says Curran was arrested and it's not the only case he's facing. What we wanted to make sure to get before the court is that this is somebody who is expected to be sentenced for a crime in Snohomish County next week. Curran, who worked as a paraeducator at Everett High, was also a team leader at the Muckleteo Boys and Girls Club. Prosecutors say on multiple occasions throughout 2020, Curran, a coach and mentor, sexually assaulted a 15-year-old girl who volunteered at the Boys and Girls Club. Curran is no longer with the Boys and Girls Club or with the Everett School District. He had been released on his own recognizance while he was waiting to be sentenced in Snohomish County. Karen is expected to be sentenced in the child rape case on Wednesday and formally charged in the Seattle homicide case tomorrow. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.